I think it's important to acknowledge that we need these standards and uh, that uh, we appreciate that these standards are being talked about. However, I want to add to the chorus of voices that you've heard tonight that have said that uh, these standards could and should be improved. And uh, without getting into any of the technical aspects, I do want to say that one of the most important uh, weaknesses to this proposal is that it does not treat the PFAS chemicals as a class of chemicals. And one of the things we know from our experience with PFAS, starting with PFAS and PFOA, that when the government starts taking action against some of these chemicals, industry moves to other chemicals. And oftentimes we're told that they're safer, and then we find out years later that they're not. And we've been around this carousel over and over with these PFAS chemicals. It started with a couple, and then we saw them move to other shorter chain chemicals that were supposed to be safer, we found out those are dangerous, and then we moved to new chemicals. Regulate these chemicals as a class. Regulate all of them, or else we're going to be playing this cat and mouse game for too long, and it's going to affect too many people's health. An example, right here at the Huron River, we know that there are uh, possibly many sources of PFAS in the river, but we know for sure that tri-bar plating up in Wixom is a major source. Tri-bar plating is still using shorter change PFAS chemicals to put that fancy plating on their products. And why are they doing that? They're doing that because we regulated other PFAS chemicals, but now they're still discharging the PFAS into the river. And that PFAS is still coming down the river to the over 100,000 people who are drinking Ann Arbor's municipal water. Mm -hmm. And so I would urge the department to get ahead of this cat and mouse game and regulate all these chemicals as a class, because we've already seen what happens when we don't. The final thing I want to say is we really also need a cumulative standard. Uh, when, when, when we tell citizens that there's a standard for this and a standard for that, and they see that their water is below some of those standards, we're giving them the message that this water is safe. But we're not giving them the picture of whether or not the water is safe in a cumulative sense, because that's not what's being analyzed. That's not what the department is enforcing against. Please look at the whole impact of all these chemicals together, so that when someone looks at their report from the water treatment plant, and they look at the standard, they can feel solid that that information that they're basing their, that their choices on is, is real. Because the one thing I've learned in 20 years of watching these environmental issues is that chemicals almost never, we never find out that they're more safe than we thought they were. We're always finding out that they're more dangerous and more dangerous. And in a state like Michigan, where our environmental laws are so weak, we need to get ahead of um, the, the, the next people. So uh, thank you for coming tonight. I, I urge you to enact standards as as possible, and I urge you to enact standards that are uh, reflective of the cumulative impact and reflective of the whole family of people.